Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a recent news coming from the border areas where the Indian Army has used the DRDO laser to neutralize the Chinese drone near the line of control. As you know that line of control is a line that passes through the Jammu and Kashmir region of India, which for practical purpose is considered today as a boundary between India and Pakistan. Now, if you look at the context of this particular topic, the drone it seems to be was operated by the Pakistani army. However, the drone is having a Chinese origin. That means it was manufactured in China and due to the use of anti-drone system by the Indian army, as you can see from here in this image, the drone was brought down, drone was destroyed. The UAV also, that is the other way, how drone are referred as, that means unmanned aerial vehicle was intercepted using the IDDIS, that is the integrated drone detection and interdiction system. Basically, the system was designed and developed by uh, DRDO indigenously in India and this system works in two phases. In first phase, it identifies any kind of threats such as UAV or drones and in the second phase, once it identifies this threat, then it suits a laser beam that brings down the drone or destroys the drone. Now, this entire incident has taken place in this particular sector. If you look at the map here, we can say to the south of Pir Panjal range. Pir Panjal range, we can say, is the part of mid Himalayas or Himachal Himalayas. So, in the south of Pir Panjal range, if you look at here, we have a place called as Nagarota, where you have the 16th course of Indian Army or Indian military's base is situated. So, it is a 16th course in the Nagarota. This particular battalion of army is responsible for bringing this drone. Now, if you look at the development, as we have discussed, it is completely and indigenously developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, the Apex Military Research and Development Organization of the India. And this entire system, that is a drone detection and interdiction system we talk about, it has various different, uh, what you can call as characteristics, such as it can cause jamming of the signals, it can spoof drone navigation, and even it can destroy the aerial target, aerial targets. And we know that the entire border of India and Pakistan, and even to some extent, the entire border of India and China has always been disturbed because of the claims by the neighbors. So that is why in large numbers, such kind of systems has been deployed along the country's border. And it is, we have seen it, the recent incident is when such decision seems to be very, very uh, uh, fruit yielding in nature and because it has been able to track and hit the drone. Now, if you look at the method of operation of this system, first of all, the system is, our system has destroyed the drone by shooting what we can call as 2 kilowatt laser beam. And this particular system has a target range of 800 to 1000 meters. That means if any drones, drone comes within this particular range of this laser beam system, it can easily shoot it, identify it and then destroy it. It also supports other methods of disruption, making it adaptable to a wide range of threats. And the reason why Indian government has decided to deploy such a large number of anti-drone system across the country's border is because of the increasing incursions. We are seeing both, it has been always a norm from the Pakistani side where they have tried to send either the infiltrators in the form of terrorists, or also we are seeing along the other parts of the international border. We talk about in the regions of India and Pakistan is having high international border in the Gujarat, Rajasthan and Punjab. So there also we have seen increasing cases of incursion and all and there the anti-drone system can play a very very significant role. Now also DRDO has announced that the current system we have talked about has used a 2 kilowatt laser beam to destroy the drone but in the next line or next breakthrough is the development of 30 kilowatt directed energy weapon system. That means it will shoot laser beam which will have a concentrated energy of 30 kilowatts and it can neutralize not only small drones or UVs but also it can target and easily destroy fixed wing aircraft that is passing through this particular area. Fixed wing aircraft means which where the aircraft wings are basically are not rotating as we see in the case of choppers rather they are fixed. So jet aircraft will talk about or swarm drones when you have large number of small size drones that are sent to overwhelm these systems or enemies radar system and all that that can also be destroyed and targeted and even incoming missiles to some extent can be destroyed by this particular system. Now already the trial phase has ended and this 30 kilowatt energy weapon system is already in the stage of production and deployment across, across various different different military platforms. And as per the recent report that has been uh, uh, coming from the ERDO, it says that after the complete deployment of the system, India will become the fourth 
country in such a small club of nation who possesses such high powered laser weapons. The other three countries we have is US, China and Russia. Now apart from this also we try to understand there are several important features that make, me, that make them a deadliest kind of weapons that we have in practice. So for example if you look about look, talk about this particular system apart from shooting of laser beam this system is also latched with electronic warfare capabilities which can jam both communication and satellite signals adding another layer of tactical edge. Apart from this, it is also very diverse in nature because it can be mounted on the ground based units such as the trucks that you have in the areas where you have land border the countries or it can be adapted for use even on the naval platforms. That means the Indian Navy on its ship can also deploy such laser weapon system and if any enemy missile or enemy aircraft, enemy drone is, try to is trying to enter into the India's territory by using the sea uh, areas or oceanic areas then obviously they can also be targeted and destroyed. So that makes them a very, very diverse weapon system. Then apart from this also they have a 360 degree optical, electro optical or infrared sensors which allow precise targeting. We talk about the electro optical or infrared sensor. Basically these sensors look at the images. They capture the image of a drone that might be flying over the territory. And then by locking at that particular site, then it fires the laser. Infrared sensors on the other hand looks at the heat signature. For example, if aircraft or a drone is moving to a particular area, in that area it will emit heat. So that heat that is being emitted by these aircrafts or these uh, drones are caught and basically sensed and then precise targeting can be done. It can also be rapidly deployed by air rail routes offering flexibility across terrains and operational theatres. Now the significance of this we can also understand from the fact that as per the DRDO's report they have said that we are also working on other high energy systems like apart from the high energy laser beams we are developing high energy microwaves, electromagnetic pulse, EMP weapons as you call it. Electromagnetic pulse weapons are very deadliest in nature because if EMP weapons are fired in the areas around enemy territory or any areas where you want to target it will fry out all electronics and electronic components of the, uh, the machineries as well as electrical systems that enemy might have in place. So it will completely destroy the communication network of the enemy which can be very advantageous when we are at war. And that is why many of the scientists and experts also have argued that this is something, this is something that we can consider as the initial component or basic component of the Star Wars like capability that India might develop in the future. We know that Star Wars was a very famous TV, uh, this uh, film series and there if you remember the scenes from the TV, uh, TV series or TV film series, you can see that there were many such kind of aircraft which are flying in the outer space and target each other not by conventional missiles that we use today but using a high powered laser beam and by using this high powered laser beam they used to destroy the enemy target. Something like this we can also imagine taking place in few decades from now maybe. So this all development we can consider to be one of the new and emerging weapon system which is also the need of the hour because if you take lessons and learn lessons from the Russia-Ukraine war which is the most recent war the world has faced we can understand that now the conventional method of fighting war has become a kind of redundant. Now we do not see thousands and thousands of tanks and artilleries and weapon system that move and then they fight with each other in a direct confrontation. Rather large part of war today is fought by using drones which are very cheap in nature, very cheap to manufacture and that is why we have to develop such kind of system which can target those drones because if you try to look at the conventional anti-air defense system if suppose a drone that can be manufactured in few hundred thousand dollars to to, uh, to stop that drone from, drone from falling in the territory the country will have to launch a missile which takes millions of dollars to manufacture. So obviously this create a kind of what we can call as asymmetry and that is why a laser powered weapon system is something that is cheaper in terms of the use and thus it can be a good alternative for destroying and tracking the drones, the enemy drones specifically. Also other point is that it is a massless weapon. So all these basically also add as what we can call as an advantage of the drone system. Now we have discussed that 2 kilowatt laser beam system is what was used in the recent case. India already or DRDO already has developed 30 kilowatt laser beam system and now next in line the major 
what you can call as the future plan the drdo has unveiled is about 300 kilowatt laser weapon which they have named as surya surya because 300 kilowatt is a very very high powered energy beam laser beam pulse we can say so it is similar to kind of destruction that the sun can do if you go near to it so the high speed aerial threats for example you have discussed that the current weapon system that we have are largely focused upon and are useful for tracking and destroying drones but if suppose a high speed aerial threat such as missiles moving at hundreds and hundreds of kilometers per hour they are entering into our territory or large uh, size uavs like for example you have turkish barakhtar UAV or drone. So these kind of drones and incoming missiles can easily be targeted and destroyed by such high powered laser system. Also the current range of the anti-drone system is only 1 kilometers. So this Surya will be having a much more greater range and it can target any threats, aerial threat specifically up to 20 kilometers from the site location. The development obviously aligns the global trends. It is not only India where we are developing the system but almost all the countries are today are jostling with each other, are trying to what you can call as compete with each other, especially the militaries we talk about and are investing heavily in high powered lasers to protect airspace and installations. And as we know that the two major threats India faces today is from the two borders, the western border and eastern border, one from Pakistan, one from China. And since Pakistan and China have always colluded with each other, we can obviously expect the Chinese weapons entering and then being part of the Pakistani military as well. So that is why when China is developing such kind of weapons, such kind of drone system, we cannot be lagging behind. We have to take this step as well. So entire this program will talk about development of 2 kilowatt, 30 kilowatt and 300 kilowatt of laser web beams clearly has a strategic significance on the background of heightened regional tensions. We know that both along the western eastern border, the enemy countries claim a large part of India's territory. For example, we know that in the Ladakh region, if we talk about, there has been several time clashes between Indian Tibetan, Indian Tibetan border police as well as the Chinese military. And also entire Arunachal Pradesh we talk about is claimed by China as its own integrated territory. And this again can create a flashpoint in the military tension between the both countries. So in such case of heightened regional tension, we need to be fully prepared. And this kind of weapon development is one step, a right step in that direction. Then increasing drone activity, what we have witnessed both from Pakistani side and largely that is Chinese manufactured drones and not only along LOC but throughout the entire international border. So that is why such kind of system and its deployment become very, very crucial to secure the uh, territory and secure the what you can call as border regions of India. So cross-border surveillance and intrusion tactics we talk about is no longer a conventional nature rather it has become a next edge or what you can call as next generation by the use of such kind of technology a shift in how india plans to secure its airspace is something that we can clearly see by the extra emphasis being given to the drdo to develop such kind of weapon system and also not only develop it but develop it by using the indigenous technology so that we become self-sufficient in development and use of such high-tech system to deal with the emerging threats. So this is all about this particular video. I hope you got the idea behind the significance of the high-powered laser weapon system, how it can be significant in tackling drone threats and the future even the other aerial threats as well. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends as well subscribe to our channel for more such helpful content. Thank you.